Welcome back. In this video, we shall talk about discrete cosine transform or 1D discrete cosine transform. 1D stands for one dimensional. So let's say we have an input signal i given as i is equal to i of 0, i of 1, i of 2, where 0, 1, and 2 are the locations of the signal for example this is zeroth position this is first position and this is second position so 1d discrete cosine transform is defined by the formula ta is equal to under root 2 ka over under root x and summation from x is equal to 0 to x minus 1 and cos 2x plus 1 dot ax a pi divided by 2x into i of x so let's see what are these what are these variables so t is the transformed image or the transform signal uh, in one in 1d case it will be a transform signal in 2d case it will be a transform matrix uh, transformed image so it is a transform signal or 1d transformed matrix where i is the input signal and x denotes the index of i so i goes from 0 to x minus 1 where this capital x is the capital X is the number of elements in I so or the size of input in, input signal I in in this case the size of input signal is 3 so capital X will be equal to 3 and X minus 1 will be equal to 2 so the summation will go go from 0 to 2 so X values will change here from 0 to 2 while a denotes the index of transformed image x denotes the index of input image and a denotes the index of transformed image index means position or location of the in of the image or the signal and k a is the constant so k of n is given by under root 2 divided by 2 if n is equal to 0 and 1 otherwise F in this formula if a is equal to 0 its value will be the value of k a will be under root 2 divided by 2 and if k is equal to 1 or k a uh, sorry a is equal to 1 or a is equal to 2 k a will be equal to 1 for a is equal to 0 it will be under 2 over 2 for a is equal to 1 or 2 it will be equal to 1 so uh, now you understand this formula what is happening in this formula so here we have we shall have a transformed image transformed image will have the same size sorry I say image it is not image it is signal so transform signal will have the same size as, as the input signal so the size of input signal was capital X which will be which was equal to 3 and size of transform signal is also capital X which is equal to 3 so it, it, it means it has 3 elements T of 0, T of 1 and T of 2 so its size is 3 and the size of input signal was also so so first of all we shall find t of 0 here in, in place of a 0 will be put we will put 0 in place of a and x will vary from 0 to x minus 1 so by putting 
these values of x and a we will obtain t of 0 similarly for t of 1 we shall put a is equal to 1 and thus x will vary from 0 to 2 so x will be first of all 0 then it's, it will be 1 and then, then it will be 2 so next in we say see the uh, this discrete cosine transform in detail discrete cosine transform is the transform which converts an input signal from spatial domain or time domain to the frequency domain so discrete cos trans cosine transform like other transforms Fourier transform and Laplace transform it also converts it also converts the input signal from time domain to frequency domain in this formula this value is a constant and this value is called the basis basis of discrete cosine transform you see here the basis is not depending on input signal it will be independent of the input signal so we will we will put this this equal this equal to constant and this equal to ba the basis of a for example for a is equal to 1 this basis will be b1 so we know that i is a three element signal so basis b1 of b1 will also be a three element signal so we will take the we will element we will do element wise multiplication of the basis with the input signal so basis signal and the in input signal will be multiplied element wise so after element wise multiplication we will get this signal so similarly for calculating t of 2 or t of 0 t of 0 or t of 2 the basis signal will be b of 0 or b of 2 for t of 0 it will be b of 0 and for calculating t of 2 it will be b of 2 so we will have three basis matrices one for uh, three basis signals one for t of zero one for t of one and one for t of two so we shall have b of one b of zero b of one and b of two b of zero b of one and b of two and each basis will be three element long each basis signal will be three element long so let us do this in MATLAB so here we define an input signal i which is equal to 2 4 1 and 3 so x is the size of i so lumps so we use here 2 means the second dimension or the columns of, uh, column number of columns this size will give the number of columns if we use 1 here it will give the number of rows if you use 2 here it will give the number of columns so it has 4 columns and its size is 4 4 or its size is 1 multiplied by 4 1 cross 4 so we will calculate the constant in this way for a if a is equal to 0 the k a will be equal to square root of 2 divided by 2 and else k a will be equal to 1 uh, else means for other values of a for a is equal to 1 or for a is equal to 2 it will be k a is equal to 1 next we can calculate the constant 
uh, this constant will which will which will be equal to under root 2 ka over under root x so so it is equal to under root 2 into k divided by under root x so we calculate the basis matrix x will go from 0 to x minus 1 which is equal to 3 in this case the size of i is 4 and the size of which is x x is equal to 4 and loop will go from 0 to 3 which is x minus 1 x minus 1 is equal to 3 so we will calculate basis signal using this formula basis signal for using this formula all right so we will calculate the basis signal first of all b of x is equal to 0 will be calculated it will be b of 0 next b of 1 will be calculated then b of 2 will be calculated b of 0 is placed at location b of 1 because in matlab the index starts from 1 there is nothing in matlab as 0th 0th row or 0th column the column number and row number in matlab starts from 1 so we will put uh, we will place b of 0 at the location of b of 1 so that's why we used x plus 1 so let us run this program so here the value of a is equal to value of a is 0 sorry value of a is 2 so x of 2 will be calculated so we see the basis matrix it will be a change in horizontal direction if we place a is equal to 1 and rerun this program so basis for b of 1 will be calculated which will be which is, which will also be a change in horizontal direction if we place a is equal to 0 and rerun this program so b of 0 will be calculated which will be a constant signal so next we do the element wise multiplication of input signal i with the corresponding basis and then we will sum all the values of y for doing the summation and t of a will be calculated which will be t of 0 in this case because the value of a is 0 so it will be t of 0 which will be constant multiplied by z so let us do in let us do the do this with using direct method instead of doing uh, dot multi, uh, instead of doing element wise multiplication we do it with a direct method so i is i is initialized input signal the size of x is calculated a is equal to sorry a we remove this part because a will go from 0 to 2 so instead of using a of 0 or a is equal to 2 or a is equal to 1 we do or we do for all the values therefore we use this loop from in which a will go from 0 to x minus 1 or 0 to 3 a will go from 0 to 3 and this t of 0 will be calculated first when a will be 0 then a will increment to 1 t of 1 will be calculated then t of 2 will be calculated and then t of 3 will be calculated so t of 0 will be pl placed at the location t of 1 why because the matrix uh, the row number or column number in matlab starts from 1 
so t of 0 will be placed as t of 1 t of 1 will be placed at t of 2 and t of 2 will be placed at t of 3 and t of 3 will be placed at t of 4 so that's why we used a, a t of a plus 1 actually it should be t of a not t of a plus 1 why but uh, we are confined in using t of a plus 1 because row number and column number in matlab starts from 1 and if we use t of a here it will give error because t of 0 does not exist in matlab so we will run this program and we see the transformed signal so this is the transform signal calculated by matlab thank you all see you in the next video